We are here today with our influencer content creator project, um, Disinformation in Times of Crises um, and Wars. And I'm here with one of our uh, participants, Patricia. Patricia, um, you are a law student, a legal scholar. Um, you come with a very serious background on very serious issues. And at the same time, you're a social media content creator. Tell me how that goes together. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to be here to be a part of this project. It's my pleasure and uh, I'm really, really glad to be here. And uh, it can be different with me. I'm really creative. At the same time, I really feel my mission to work on important issues, to be uh, keep uh, my hand on the track and uh, understand the processes and somehow help society, help uh, the situation. And uh, my background is in law. I uh, previously studied uh, law for my bachelor's and then moved on to law and finance uh, program for my master's. And uh, to fulfill myself, I need both of these sides. To create something, to be a creative, to really express something uh, in visual, uh, visual side of it and also I love documents I love law I love to make an impact on the on the ground I have uh, my background on my my law degree so I really really enjoy this <laughs> Thank you very much. You said you want to have an impact on society um, and you are trying to achieve this through your creativity on social media. Tell us a little bit which um, channels you are using and what you are actually um, creating on. What topics are you covering? So, uh, maybe on the social media, right now, uh, when I work uh, for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, in uh, my homeland, uh, my home city, Riga, Latvia, uh, my job side is really focused on these issues that are so important right now to work on. So, my creative side has a little bit moved on uh, to the fashion and uh, lifestyle and uh, style uh, whatever how to how to show myself my uh, daily routine at the same time I'm showing that I'm going to university that I'm working that I'm going to different kind of uh, workshops and discussions and uh, raising some uh, important questions to deb debate on and uh, I think maybe the creative uh, uh, this all the creative things I put on my social media it's kind of like a really easygoing, uh, easygoing uh, pictures and, and, and uh, that side is like a hook in a lip for some, somebody who is following me, maybe because of the beautiful uh, look, feed or stories, how it looks or some tips on, uh, I don't know, restaurants or outfits or makeup or hair. But at the same time, I keep also posting some informative posts I'll, even if it's just like a retweeting or reposting something from, uh, I don't know, NATO or Twitter or uh, European Parliament or talking some about some important issues or saying on which workshops or debates I will participate in and uh, just invite people to come or to think or just don't uh, stay in their bubbles and uh, keep them informative about what is going on in the world. Thank you very much for sharing this. Um, after the last couple of days here in Berlin, is there anything you take home and home to your work? Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, I already mentioned uh, one of our discussions that uh, those are the platforms, those are the people, and those are the extremely high rocketing uh, creative ideas and energy they have and uh, actually also uh, educational uh, facts and uh, tips what they are sharing and success and failure stories they really inspire they really let me understand that i have to keep going i have to stick on my vision on how i want to create because i i really believe that uh, every and each of us they they have to think 
about our community, about our audience. And the most specific and most uh, important thing is to stay authentic, because that's the way why somebody followed you and how you can reach them the most efficient way. So uh, I'm absolutely inspired and I can't wait to keep my work going. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being part of the program and for ins inspiring everybody else and also the Aspen Institute. Thank you so much.